Season 18 is ending in 7 days and with the new season in guys, Ninja Kiwi is adding a brand new update with new arena leagues in update 4.0 and they have just released a teaser giving us a bunch of information about the arena leagues which I'm about to go over in today's video so let's get it guys. Alright here we go guys, I'm against Ahmed who's going normal Churchill and I'm bringing his brother Sentai Churchill so let's get it. And we are on the map of Sun Palace with the little engineer Super Monkey Farm and Sentai Churchill and I'm going to go over the new arena arena leagues everything about it and give my own opinion on everything here while we are playing the match so this is pretty, gonna be pretty exciting let's get it guys um first things first ninja kiwi said um update 4.0 is right around the corner and with it brings some big changes to the ranked play and introducing arena leagues we wanted to give a bit more of an advanced update on the, uh, advanced notice about this change so you can digest it properly before the full update notes are released please see the slides below for more info of what to expect okay now we're gonna hop into the slides dude this is gonna be i was reread i was reading everything beforehand it seems pretty interesting i have some thoughts about it that i wanted to share so here we go arena leagues full rework of arena progression each week will join a small leaderboard of 30 other players players earn trophies from all for all ranked games games are not restricted to players in the leaderboard so you're in a leaderboard like you're in a ranking system with 30 different players but you can match people outside of the leaderboard system so kind of i would kind of compare that to how the clans leaderboard works right so if you're in like clans you're like in the black diamond leaderboard for example you can match clans I, you can match with players i think from any leaderboard but you're ranked against people in black diamond that's kind of how the leaderboard um would work for the arena leagues Top players are promoted into the next arena. Lowest players are demoted. Season tracks are now four weeks long. So I guess the leaderboard, the arena league is four weeks long now. Okay, so it's a little bit shorter than it normally is now. Because right now, I think le uh, seasons are like 50 days or something. It's longer than a month for sure right now. But I'm not exactly sure how long. And then whole of Masters players will contribute to season long leaderboard for all games while in whole Masters. So does that mean there's going to be a 30 player leaderboard for wait season long leaderboard for whole masters i don't know if that means the whole masters leaderboard is going to stay the same like it is currently or if it's there's going to be like a 30 day whole masters leaderboard coming on as well i'm not exactly sure what that bullet point means but all right all right there's two more slides coming in here so next slide says weekly leaderboards give shorter more achievable goals wait oh okay so there's four Never mind, I, I was wrong. So it's a weekly leaderboard of 30 other players, and then there's four weekly leaderboards per season. Okay, but I'm not sure about how it works in Whole Masters still. Okay. Weekly leaderboards have shorter, more achievable goals. All right, that's fine. Each arena now has multiple leaderboards, leagues. Players will only see their own. Players can match with all people in their current arena, not just the 30 people in their league. Okay, so like if you're in Red Balloon Camp, you can match any Red Balloon Camp player um, not just the people in your 30 player league. I think we kind of established that earlier though. Players are ranked in their league by their trophies. Players can earn trophies for ranked games. Okay, so this is the part that I thought was really weird how it worked. So the way you um you progress inside of your own um the way you progress inside of your own like 30 person leaderboard is by these trophies they call them. And this is how you earn trophies from games, guys. You earn three trophies if you win the match. You earn one trophy if you lose past round 30. You earn plus one trophy, uh, plus one additional trophy if you win on a three plus win streak. And you earn plus one additional trophy if it's a streak breaker bonus. Defeat someone else who hasn't been on a win streak. Now, I personally, hearing about all that, I don't think that's a good system. Because you can't lose trophies, right? You earn one if you win. You can earn one if you lose past round 30. And I assume you earn zero if you lose before round 30. And then you earn the plus ones so like if you can earn trophies when you win and you can earn trophies when you lose there's no there's no negative downside to not playing more so even though obviously if you're going to be more skilled you're going to be winning the higher percentage of your games right so you're going to progress faster but if you just grind the heck out of the game and lose every single match you still will progress in the leaderboard system which i don't think is necessarily a good idea right you shouldn't you shouldn't have leaderboard progression if you're losing 100 percent of your games but in this system you could still technically progress if you just played a ton played a lot more than the other people in your 30 person leaderboard area 
and lost every game because you could still gain trophies for losing so i don't know that doesn't make sense that doesn't make much sense to me how that necessarily works i would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below on that i i read that earlier i was like why why can you earn trophies for losing you definitely should take a hit for losing ma a match but okay last section here um arena progression players are matched in the into a new league of 30 after they play the first ranked game of the week okay so after you play your first ranked game of the week that's how you join the um the new league everyone starts the league with zero trophies okay so you start the league with zero trophies and then the, the, the trophy progression is kind of what we went over earlier at the end of the week top players progress to a higher league while bottom players drop to the lower league i'm trying to figure out how many people progress and how many people drop it hasn't said yet the first player to reach 50 trophies per league can choose the fast track per promotion this immediately promotes them to the next arena and resets their trophies there is no monkey money rewards for fast tracking okay so if you get to fast if you get to 50 trophies really fast inside the weekly thing you can um promote extremely fast which obviously that can be that can be helpful if like you're just like far ahead of everyone else you don't you shouldn't have to wait the entire week so i guess that makes sense that makes sense whole of masters leaderboard contains the elo scores of all players across whole of masters leagues games only games played in whole masters are counted this resets every season four weeks and awards medals so i'm still a little bit confused how the whole masters leaderboard works i'll be honest i'm not entirely sure so is there still going to be like a leaderboard for every player in whole masters or are you going to only see the 30 person league leaderboard is my question i'm not entirely sure about that how that's gonna work okay we're gonna need a balloon trap here there's also um an image i think that shows how many people promoted stuff so i'm gonna go over the image in a second here i forget my balloon trap up all right balloon trap has been bought let's move my farmer next to the balloon trap everything is good there we got 2k plus eco which is pretty solid i'm actually gonna go for a second balloon trap as well here all right sentai churchill should be able to, we're gonna sell that go for a second balloon trap here all right so here the image says whole master season leaderboard resets every four weeks bottom 10 players okay so bottom 10 players in your whole masters leaderboard league will get demoted after every four weeks um after every four week thing and then okay so if you're in zmg superdome if you're the top three player in the league in zmg superdome you get promoted to whole masters and if you're bottom 10 you'll get demoted to bfb coliseum and if you're in bfb coliseum if you're top five you'll get promoted to zmg and if you're bottom 10 you'll get demoted into mole pit and then from Moa Pit, if you're top 10, you get promoted. If you're bottom 10, you get demoted. So that is how it works there. Okay. It's a little interesting. Let's use my Churchill ability here. Let's just boost this. Okay, we're fine. All right. That got a little scary. I'm not going to lie, but we're good. We're right at the end of the day let's overclock you how much do these sell for 8k i don't think i will afford it's like 12k of selling so i need like uh, i can sell everything for like 23k so i need like 23k on hand i'm not affording am i oh well that's fine opponent keeps sending me zebra balloons which is really weird as a farm player Hopefully we can end, end this with a win, though. Yeah, we'll go for that. They're sending me leads, cause, so why not? Oh, they're sending me a lot of leads. We're good against all this, though, right? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. I should be able to forward my Wall Street this round. Okay, they have Super Monkey as well, so we have the same exact loadout. And this update is going to come out pretty soon. I don't know how long is left in the season, but it's going to be the the 4.0 update. So the next update for the game is when all this stuff is going to come out. Okay, we got that up. That's perfect. Is he going to rush me or no? Doesn't appear so at the moment. Uh, going for that BRF is very risky because they can send me like tight mobs or something and then force me to sell the BRF. But doesn't look like they are currently. All right, we're good. We're going to keep farming. Let's overclock you again. Okay, they have three BRFs on their end, which is actually really weird here. I don't know what they've been doing with farming. My 
farming and stuff has not been necessarily optimal because I was kind of busy reading the notes and giving my interpretation of everything. I still, I'm still very skeptical about this. I'll be honest. I like, I thought the leaderboard progression was honestly fine in this game. The only problem with the leaderboards is whole master's Edo system is trash. But besides that, leader progression in this game was honestly fine with how the trophies worked with the win streak bonus and everything. I didn't think this was something that necessarily needed a change in the game, you know? So I guess it's kind of caught me off guard. Why does bro have five banana research facilities on their side? Six banana. What is Ahmed doing, bro? Is this the new strat? I mean, their farms actually aren't bad, but like the problem is their BRFs aren't getting buffed by banana central. If they had a banana central up, their farms would actually be kind of crazy. But no banana central means they're not, they're missing out on a lot of money. We're just gonna, we're just gonna chill on our side. We're gonna keep farming and then prepare around 30 defenses. I don't exactly know. The, idea, the cheapest way to defend round 30 with our loadouts, so we'll see about that. Let's go for one more overclock. Keep overclocks on these guys. Perfect. We'll go for strong here. If they send me, I can get Sentry Champion up as well, which should do some solid BD damage on strong. Yeah, they have, what, eight BRFs? I definitely think I'm making more money from my farms, to be honest. I think I'm making more money from my farms. Okay, let's get that guy up overclock it i'd like to defend okay they're sending me a normal bad it's not fortified actually interestingly enough okay let's overclock this as well I don't think I need triple XL against this. I think we're good with my current setup. I'd like to believe. Get two dark champions up. I don't need tower boosts either. Yeah, we're good. And then I'm going to use Churchill level 10 ability here in a second. Churchill level 10 ability against these. I'm dead. What? The ceramics? I have two overclocked dark champions. You can't kill all the ceramics, bro. I just need tech terror. On all honesty, I just need tech terror. I don't know. I thought that would just easily pop the ceramics, to be honest. I guess I underestimated the dark champions. Wow. Um, Buff dark champion, dude. But yeah, give me your thoughts on the new arena leagues, guys. I... I mean, I don't want I don't want to be too skeptical about it because the, it hasn't dropped yet, so we don't actually know how it's going to be in practice. But yeah, my current interpretation is I don't really know if this is necessary. It seems kind of weird, especially that you can't lose lose trophies from games. That's something that so that's my biggest concern about it. But let me know as always. Peace out, guys.